So here's a nice little question. Calculate the root mean square velocity for a sample of neon atoms at 25 degrees Celsius. You got neon in a little bag or something like that in a balloon, in a tube. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to calculate what the average speed of those particles are. Okay, so uh, here's the formula. Root mean square velocity equals square root of 3RT over molar mass. That's probably going to be a formula that you're going to be given on a test, but if your teacher doesn't give it to you, memorize that one, right? Okay, so here's what some of these variables mean in terms of uh, well, what their numbers are. So you take the square root of, let's plug the numbers in now. This is R. 8.314 joules per Kelvin mole is one of the values of R that you really have to know uh, in this course. You're always going to be given on a data table R as uh, 8.314 joules per Kelvin mole or R equals, and then it's going to be the universal gas constant, whether that's going to be in kilopascals or atmospheres, 0.08206 liter atmospheres per Kelvin mole or 8.314, virtually the same number as here, right? Uh, kilopascal liters per Kelvin mole. You've got to know in which circumstances you need to use which unit of R and what value. So here's the thing. When we're doing anything that involves R in terms of kinetic energy or energies, use that joule per Kelvin mole number, 8.314. Okay, so here it is right here. Times the temperature here, degrees Celsius, but that says Kelvins. That's a little K there for Kelvins, but it's big K. Um, you multiply that by 298, because remember, you add 25 degrees Celsius to 273. Okay, so there's your 298. Here's the molar mass of neon. The grams per mole is 20.18, right, on your periodic table. But I just took it and went 10 to the negative 3 kilograms, because 10 to the negative 3 kilograms is a gram, right? And that's grams per mole. So I just kept, see, I just, I just kept that number there and just went 10 to the negative 3 kilograms per mole, and that makes grams per mole. Okay, now look. When you do the math here, you get this number when you collect those, those numbers together here. And then, how, does these, how do these cancel to give you the right unit? Oh, it's so beautiful. It's elegant. It's just really cool. Look, kilogram meter squared per second squared is really what a joule is. It really is. And then, take that joules, that's kilogram meter squared per second squared, divided by Kelvin moles right here then times Kelvin, and then divided by kilograms per mole. Look at this, it's so gorgeous. The kilograms cancel, the moles cancel, they really do. The Kelvins cancel, and you're left, oh, ouch, with meters squared per second squared. But when you take the square root of meters squared per second squared, you get meters per second. <laughs> and then this number here, the square root of that is 607. So the answer is 607 meters per second. That's how fast neon is going in a 25 degree uh, Celsius or 298K environment. Really cool, hey? Um, now that means then if you let go of a neon particle at 25 degrees Celsius, yeah, it travels about 600 meters in a second, but it might actually only go from here to here, which means that it actually travels 607 meters to get from this point to this point. That's pretty impressive. That's how fast that they're going. That's how small that those particles are. Woo.